Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you three ways to become resistant to narcissists. Please give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click all notifications so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Three ways to become resistant to narcissists. It seems like narcissists are everywhere in the world today. It's so common that it is actually easier to come across someone with narcissistic traits rather than a regular person. And those traits will affect you especially if you are enabling their behavior, which is why you need to become resistant to narcissists so that you can protect yourself from the effects of how they operate. Narcissists are very insecure, which results in them being very controlling. They have a distorted self-image, which is why they love to control your self-image. They want to change how you see yourself so that they can change how they see themselves. And that's what enabling is, which may have been conditioned in you by a narcissistic parent, where it may have been easier for you to enable your parent rather than standing up for yourself because you were still a child, so you weren't taught how to do that. Narcissistic parents criticize their child's authenticity until the child learns that authenticity isn't safe. Especially if the child is confident and courageous and they're ranked in their critical or controversial opinions. Because narcissists do not respond well to confident and forceful personalities. They will criticize or ignore their child and treat them as if they are bad for having these characteristics. So there is no winning for the child. The child will abandon anything that their parent doesn't like because it is the only way to ensure their safety. Otherwise, they will be rejected and a child cannot take care of themselves. So if you had a narcissistic parent, they trained you to enable someone else's behavior, which means that even if they criticize you for something normal, such as reading or painting, you will then stop because you're unable to see that what they're doing is wrong. So you will change everything about yourself to make them happy because that is what you were taught in childhood. But by doing that, you are then enabling their behavior to continue, which is why by the end of the relationship, you may not even know who you are. You may not recognize the person that you have become. So now I'm going to provide you with some ways that you can become resistant to three things that narcissists like to do. One, devaluation. The narcissist will make you believe that everything about you is bad so that you change everything about yourself in an effort to please them, to then feel like you are good. But no matter what you do, it will not change anything because they are incapable of seeing your authenticity. And in order for them to see your authenticity, they would have to see that you are not an extension of them. And for them to be able to see that, they would have to abandon their false self. Because for you to be authentic, you can no longer validate their false self, which means that they will never be able to see you as a separate being. So you will never be able to change them. You will never be able to get them to see who you really are. And when you realize that, you will become more resistant to narcissists because then you will stop trying to control their perception of you. But they will continue trying to control your perception of how you see yourself. And they will still only see what they wish to see while you will be in control of your self-image, which means that they will still criticize you 
but you will no longer feel the need to control their perception of the you. So it will no longer affect you or stop you from being you. The narcissist wants you to revolve around them all day, every day. They want their needs to be extremely important to you, while your needs are never acknowledged. And they will achieve this by criticizing you or by being passive aggressive to train you to stop caring about yourself so that you will revolve around them. They want you to put yourself last and to put them first all the time until you run yourself into the ground. Because not only are you not receiving from them, but you're not even receiving anything from yourself. And as you keep doing more and more, the narcissist will do less and less until by the end you are doing everything. And you may notice everything you're doing for them. But not only are they not doing anything for you, they're also not noticing everything that you do, which leaves you feeling like you have no value. It affects your perception of yourself. Because you are no longer able to see yourself through your own eyes. Since you are no longer giving anything to yourself. And since they have trained you to see yourself through their eyes. Which just continues the cycle of trying to get them to see everything that you do. So to become resistant to narcissists. You need to accept that they will never appreciate everything that you do because they will never see the value in you. In order for that to even be possible, you would have to raise them up. But in their minds, they would have to lower themselves to do that. They would have to act in an undignified, unworthy and dishonorable way. So they will never appreciate everything that you do. But you can build your own self-worth, self-confidence and self-respect which are things that only come from yourself anyway. It comes from how you see yourself rather than how other people see you. But narcissists teach you that it has to come from them. And that is not true. You can value yourself and see your own worth. It will not change them, but that's not what it's about. It's about letting them be who they want to be and realizing that you can see your own worth regardless of how they may be. Two, gaslighting. The narcissist will gaslight you because they love to confuse you and make you think that you're crazy. And normally when they do that, you might try to convince them of your perspective, but by doing that, you are enabling them to affect your grip on reality. When you are desperately trying to convince them, it causes you to become more unsure of how you see yourself because it reveals that you need them to confirm and stay on the same page as you in order for you to hold on to yourself. And it's normal to want someone to see your reality, but not when you're dealing with narcissists because they are not healthy people. So the more that you try to utilize healthy relationship strategies on someone who is not emotionally healthy, the more it's just going to irritate and frustrate you. Which is why although the narcissist may still try to gaslight you, you can stop yourself from being sucked into the wrestling ring with the narcissist by remaining firm and fixed to your reality because you shouldn't even be interested in convincing a narcissist of your reality, you should already know, and you should not need their validation to hold on to your reality. Three, silent treatment. The narcissist loves to use the silent treatment as punishment, where they withdraw their communication and support. And by doing that, they are targeting your unhealed wounds to make you feel unworthy and unlovable, as though you don't even deserve their words, which can be very painful, which is why they may often use it to torture you, and you may end up enabling their silent treatment, 
by not even recognising how bad and wrong that behaviour is. Because instead you are seeking to reduce the irritation or pain. You are hoping that they will stop the silent treatment so that you will feel better without realising that you can feel better by yourself. A problem cannot be solved at the same level of vibration that it was created. So when you are hoping that they will make you feel better by ending the punishment, you are typically in a lower state of consciousness, which means that you may not even realize what you're doing. But when you become resistant to narcissists, it doesn't mean that they will stop giving you the sign treatment. What it means is that you will no longer feel tortured because you have raised your level of vibration. So it will no longer have the power to make you feel unworthy, unlovable or undeserving. And this all begins by upgrading your belief system so that you no longer fall for their tactics. Because narcissists are like hackers trying to plant malware on a person's computer. They are constantly looking for weaknesses in order to plant their viruses. And by doing that, they find people with belief systems that are susceptible to them. So if you change your belief system, you will become more resistant to narcissists by no longer personalizing what they're doing and by identifying that narcissists are going to be narcissists. So you cannot change them. But what you can change is the meaning that you give to their behaviors by using the gray rock method and by not letting it become a part of you. Because you may not be consciously aware of it, but you may be giving a meaning to their behavior as though it says something about you. When in fact, their behavior says more about themselves than it will ever say about you. It reveals that they're not good people and they're not something you should want to associate with which is why you should observe and not absorb and change the meaning that you give to their behaviors so that it will no longer affect you in the way that they want it to. Because the meaning that you may be given to it is likely to be based on something that happened in the past, perhaps in childhood, rather than it having anything to do with who you are today, which is why if you create a new meaning for their behavior, which is more in alignment with the adult that you are, you may then identify that it's simply unkind and unloving behavior and it has nothing to do with you. That it has everything to do with how they handle disappointment and when you change the meaning, it will no longer affect you emotionally because then you will realize that it says nothing about you and everything about them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comment section, hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.